jangan lupa klik subscribe dan tekan tombol bell untuk mendapatkan video-video terbaru dari channel kami. Paradigms control the results in your life. They have the power over everything from your relationships to your income. And when you shift your paradigm, everything in your life improves. Hello, I'm Bob Proctor, and I want to welcome you to Paradigm Shift, where we're going to teach you how to make dramatic improvements in the quality of your life. Now, I want you to think of this for a moment. There's a power flowing into your consciousness, and as that power flows into your consciousness, you can make anything you want out of it. But odds are pretty good we're going to think thoughts that are in harmony with our present conditioning. Now, I'm going to ask you to let your present conditioning be represented by X, X-type thoughts. X is the unknown factor. So we've got X-type conditioning, X-type behavior, X-type results. What type of thoughts would a person normally be entertaining? They'd be entertaining X-type thoughts. Let me give you a different way of looking at it. Let's suppose a person's earning $50,000 a year. Their behavior would be the behavior of a person that earns $50,000 a year. The results, $50,000 a year. What do you think they'd be thinking? They would be thinking the thoughts of a person that earns $50,000 a year. X-type thoughts. If it's X-type conditioning and you don't shift the paradigm, you're going to think X-type thoughts. Now, you can entertain other thoughts. You don't have to think X-type thoughts. But that's generally what people will do. Now, I call that bondage. We go from bondage, we go to something called reason. And this is where you entertain a Y-type thought. Y being bigger, better, different than X. Now, as long as the Y idea is just in your intellectual or your conscious mind, everything's fine. Nothing changes. You could be sitting down and decide to fantasize. And you're going to um, entertain the thought of earning $50,000 a month or maybe $150,000 a year, something substantially more than $50,000 a year. And as long as that idea remains in the consciousness, everything's fine. I'll give you an example of what I was talking about. I um, was on the fire department in Toronto. It was the best job I'd ever had. Now, I'm going back many, many years. And I, um, I thought I'd stay there forever. They never fired anybody. No one ever quit. One person since 1934 quit. I was working seven days and seven nights a month, and we worked at night, we could go to bed. So, I mean, I was virtually retired. I was 26. So, I was looking at what I was doing as being the best thing in the world. Now, I decided, after I started to rethink and grow rich, that I wanted something better than what the fire department offered. I had no credentials. I had no formal education. I had no business experience. But that book inspired me to be thinking of Y-type thoughts. And, you know, as long as I kept the idea in my consciousness, everything was fine. But I didn't do that. You know what I did? I started to get emotionally involved with the idea of earning a lot of money, of having my own business, of traveling all over the world. I mean, I was good at fantasizing. I had no difficulty with that. But when I started to get emotionally involved with it, it was just like all hell broke loose in my mind. Do you know, instantly my mind went from worry to fear to anxiety. And that's what you call hitting the terror barrier. The second you get involved in the idea of making a big change in your life, something happens. It's scary. And you hit the terror barrier, what do you do? You run right back to your safety zone, to bondage. And I was thinking, well, you know, the fire department's not that bad of a job. I get lots of time off. I'm drawing better than average income. You know, there's a pension, they can't fire you, you know, you go to work for the government, you'll never hear from them again. And that's where I was. But you see, it's almost like, how are you going to keep them down on the farm after they've seen TV? I had gotten emotionally involved with the why idea. Now, do you know, the only way around this is understanding. That's the only way. There's no other way. You really got to understand what's going on. When you start to get emotionally involved with an idea that is far beyond your present conditioning. Everything goes a little nuts. Your nervous system is affected. It's what we call the terror barrier. Now, do you know, Thoreau once mentioned, he said, if a person will advance confidently, 
get in the direction of their dream and endeavor to live the life they've imagined. She didn't say you had to do it. I mean, I've taken this quote apart six ways to Sunday and just diagnosed it and looked at it. He said, if a person will advance confidently, get in the direction of their dream, and endeavor to live the life they've imagined, give it your best shot, they will meet with success unexpected in common hours. Well, there's a few key parts to that. It says if. So, you know, there's a note. You don't have to do it. If a person will advance confidently, well, I wasn't very confident. As a matter of fact, I wasn't confident at all. I was scared stiff. And anybody that goes to make a big move, let's say a person quits a salary job to go on commission. That's a big move. Let's say you move from one country to another. I've moved from Canada to the United States to uh, England to uh, Malaysia. I mean, I've moved all over. But the first one, <laughs> that was a tough one. When you go to make that first change, things happen inside of you. Now, you shouldn't let that stop you. You see, what you want to do is gain an understanding of what's causing the terror barrier. It's the paradigm. The paradigm is trying to hold you where you are. Now, keep in mind what the paradigm is. The paradigm is a multitude of habits that are fixed in the subconscious mind. And when you go to stir them up, Everything goes crazy in your nervous system. It's worry, fear, anxiety. Now, I'm going to hit on that more in a few minutes. But it's, it's, it's not a nice thing. Now, you're either going to say, wait a minute, I understand what's causing this worry. It is not justified. It is not justified. It's the old conditioning that's causing it. But if I get emotionally involved with the worry, that's going to set up fear. And fear must be expressed through the only instrument it can, your physical body. And that's where the anxiety comes from. Well, you see, with the proper understanding, you can crash right through that terror barrier. You say, I'm, not, I'm just not going to do this. I'm going to go through that terror barrier. I'm going to end up with what I want. And the way to do that is continually play with the why idea over and over and over again. It may be scary, but I'm going to tell you the compensation is phenomenal. And that's where the repetition comes in. Now, that's essentially what I did, but I didn't understand what I was doing. I was reading the book, and I was listening to Earl Nightingale's condensed narration of the book. I'm driving around playing that record on a battery-operated record player. I'm going way back to the early 60s, and I kept playing this thing over and over and over, and I kept reading the book. Everybody told me I was crazy leaving the fire department. Do you know, within a year, I had 10% of the fire department working for me. I had my own company. My dream has been fulfilled. I've got business all over the world. Now I'm on a bigger idea. But I crashed through the terror barrier. I have come to the point where if a goal does not scare and excite me at the same time, I know the goal's probably not any good. If your goals don't scare you, you're going sideways. You're not going ahead at all. You're just not. You've got to get this right in your mind. You've got to understand that whenever you go to raise the bar to do something that you're not conditioned to do, the terror barrier comes up. And in, the only way around that is continually get involved in the why idea. Keep listening to it over and over and over again. Now, you see, we have a choice. 